an end here. All right. Ahead, a college football legend is accused of ignoring abuse by his team doctor. Bo Schemlecker's son tells us how his father hit him, the son, for saying the doctor molested him as a child. But first, it is... Welcome back to CBS This Morning. The son of a legendary college football coach says his father knew about sexual abuse by a former team doctor and did nothing about it. Bo Schembechler died 15 years ago. He led Michigan's famed football program from 1969 to 1989. An investigation commissioned by the university found that during those two decades, several Michigan officials were told that Dr. Robert Anderson was abusing patients. Nancy Chen spoke with the coach's son, that's Matt Schembechler, who says the doctor molested him as a child, too. She is outside Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor with more on the story. Nancy, good morning to you. This is very sad and very, very troubling. And very disturbing. Good morning to you, Gail. Bo Beckler is known as one of college football's greatest coaches and never had a losing season in his 21 years at the University of Michigan. His son tells us he also ignored rampant sexual abuse by the team's doctor. Now we want to warn you that some of the details in this story are disturbing. I was a really innocent kid. Matt Schembechler says he was just 10 years old when former University of Michigan Dr. Robert Anderson molested him during a physical exam in 1969. He asked me to take off all my clothes, all of them, underwear included. I remember asking, do I have to take these off? I said, well, you know, he's a doctor. It was confusing for me. You're a child. Yeah. Speaking to us with his attorneys, Shem Beckler says he told his father, Michigan football coach Bo Shem Beckler, who had adopted Matt after marrying his mother. But he says Bo punched him in the chest. That was the first time I saw him have one of his uh, rage fits where he just seemed like he lost physical control and, and the screaming and spitting and hitting, threatening. Matt says Bo prized the winning team above all, even fighting to keep Anderson after Matt came forward. I was told that Dr. Anderson's gone. And the next thing you know, it seems within a couple of days, he's back reinstated. In part because of your dad. Only because of Bo. Attorneys for the accusers say more than 850 people, including former football player Daniel Kukowski, accused Anderson of abusing them during doctor's visits over a period of nearly four decades. Dr. Anderson violated me again and again. I have avoided doctors ever since that time, jeopardizing my own health, and have found it very hard to have intimate relationships with women. An investigation commissioned by the university recently found that Dr. Anderson's misconduct may have been detected earlier and brought to an end if school leaders had taken action. We have to shed some light. While many of Anderson's accusers are suing the university, Bo Beckler passed away in 2006. Anderson died in 2008. Neither of them were charged. But Matt Schembechler says justice still needs to be served. So what's your hope moving forward with this? This never happens to another kid again. And frankly, I want the University of Michigan to say they're sorry. And we all do everything we can to make sure this doesn't happen again. The University of Michigan says it expresses sympathy for Anderson's victims and condemns his actions and that it's adopted dozens of policies since he left to better protect students. Anthony? Yeah, such a sad story, Nancy. Thank you very much.